Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I decided to do a get to know me slash get ready with me. Um, I'm getting ready for the day and I thought I could just turn on my camera and film and then maybe answer some of the questions um, on the get to know me tag and also mention what I've been, products I've been using and then also maybe mention some of the products that I used in my last video um, just to kind of let you know whether I liked them or not. I think there was only one product that I absolutely hated and I had to return. Other than that, um, yeah. Anyway, I'll kind of mention the ones that I really did like from my last video in this video and kind of just make it into one jumbo video for you guys. Um, so yeah, if you want to um, get to know me and see how I get ready, then just keep on watching. Alright, so I'm just going to start with my brows. And I always start like down here. That's where I put the most product and I kind of work my way, my, <laughs> I kind of work my way up. I guess I kind of zoom you in a little bit. Um, my brows are a little... A little they need some love but I thought I would still film this anyway so I can kind of show you guys how I make them look like they're not um super pushy I have like a lot of like little hairs right here um but as a mom I don't always have time to um plug or wax my eyebrows every like single day or every week honestly so so for my makeup, I'm not wanting to like go all out and super slay, if you will. So um, I'll save that for another video. But because I'm going to be talking a lot and I'm just getting ready for a regular day, I'm not going to do that. Let me see one of these questions. I guess that's what I should be doing. So first question, what is your middle name? My middle name is actually my maiden name. So before I was married, I actually didn't have a middle name. So when I got married, I didn't want to do away with my last name completely, but I also didn't want to have to have hyphenate. Sorry, I can't speak. If I'm talking a little funny, it's because I have my liners in, um, which I think I might have had in my last video too, but that's why. If you guys have any questions about that, let me know, but, um, basically I have, like, trays that I have to switch out every three weeks. Um, they're pretty painful the first few days. I have, like, I'm prone to getting a headache, so I probably have headache, like, the whole, have a headache, have a headache the whole first week when I change the liners, just because that's how I am. Like, I just, I get headaches for everything. Like, if I don't eat, I get a headache. If I wake up too late, I get a headache. If I wake up too early, I get a headache. Like, I seriously have a headache. 95% of the time. So, I don't know what's going on with this hair. I seriously just, like, kind of woke up and put my hair, like, in, a, in this, whatever. I haven't really done my hair. Um, and decided to film. And then I'll probably do my hair and fix all this frizziness at the end of it. But when I'm done getting ready with my makeup. What is the next question? Share your favorite subject in high school. Ugh. I guess it would have to be English. Like, an actual subject. Um, it probably had to be English because English has always just been, like, easy for me. Anytime I had to read books in English class or having um, to write an essay, I, it wasn't, it wasn't ever hard for me. So I guess because it was an easy subject for me, obviously it's my favorite. Um, I took English 1 in middle school, so therefore I was, like, always ahead one, uh, English class every year. Class every year, um because of that, which was nice because my senior year I had no English class, which was awesome, but I guess, yeah, if I had to choose a subject, that would be it. What is your favorite drink? Oh my god, this is such an easy one. I wonder if anybody has, like, just heard me say that, like, in my video. Like, people that I know and are, like, in their head already know what I'm gonna say, but my favorite drink is a caramel macchiato from Starbucks. I could drink that any time of the day. I could drink that like first thing in the morning. I could drink that for dinner. I could drink it right now. I'm actually hoping my husband will go get me one. Um, I'm taking way too long on these brows. I'm not really trying to perfect them. I'm just really filling them in and shaping them a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with concealer to cover all those little hairs that are coming out right now. Um, but yeah, they might not look perfect, but I think they look pretty good. Um, so I kind of just... Blend out the front a little bit. I don't like, sometimes I make them like too harsh in the front. So I wish I would go in there and blend them out. So I'm just going to use some of the Shape Tip Concealer to conceal my brows a little bit. Just those little like extra hairs that are growing out. Um, 
and then this is an E19 brush from Morphe. Um, I like to use, honestly, a lot. Probably like 90, 85% of my brushes are from Morphe. Um, I do love MAC brushes as well, but those are way too expensive. And I think that these Morphe ones are just as good anyway. Most of the time. Um, anyway. So I'm just going to go in like here. I just have like hairs and then up here a little bit. What is your favorite song at the moment? So I'm just going to go ahead and put more shape tape on my um, eyelids as a base for my eyeshadow. I usually don't use this, but I really don't want to go get my paint pot. That's just right over there. So I'm just going to use this anyway. Um, so my favorite song at the moment would probably have to be... I don't think I just have one, honestly. So I'm just going to set that with some translucent powder. This is actually the RCMA powder. The J Balvin, mi gente. That's fire right now, for sure. Moving on. I'm going to go ahead and use the Jacqueline Hill palette. Um, it's already all dirty. Look at that. Look at the bag. That's I need to clean it. So this is the palette. I'm sure everybody's seen it by now. Anybody that's into makeup, you know about this palette. So let's see. First, I'm going to go in with just a, like a transition color, which is Silk Cream. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of Pukey. I'm going to put that mostly in my outer corner and then kind of just work it in. I guess I should move on to the next question. Have you participated in any sports? No. Hell no. I mean, not hell no, but I mean, like, I like to play around with my kids and like soccer. And then like, you know, when we go to the beach, I'll play volleyball. But I just sprayed my Fix Plus on this brush, which is a MAC 242. And I'm gonna <clears throat> go ahead and pick up one of these like shimmery shades. Probably like maybe like a combination of these two right here and just put them all over my lid. Um, next, what is your favorite color? Probably pink if you can't tell already. Um, let me move forward. Maybe I should like multitask. Uh, let's see next. What is your favorite perfume? Probably Dolce by Dolce & Gabbana. It used to be light blue by Dolce & uh, and Gabbana, but Dolce is, oh, it's, oh. so really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and just prime my face with some spray. I probably would have done this before my eyeshadow, but you know, I'm all over the place. So I've been using this Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 spray. I actually really like this. It's, it's refreshing. I've actually used this probably like for a week and a half now, and I use it even when I'm not wearing makeup. Like I'll just kind of spray a little bit before I go to work because I like how it feels on my face. Um, this actually gets really tacky on your face, so I feel like it is good for foundation base if you're using it for that. Um, I mean, which I guess you would, but this is coconut water, probiotic based ingredient, and skin revivers. And it's silicone free, alcohol free, and oil free. So I think that's pretty awesome. I know in my last video I had mentioned this uh, Cover FX setting spray, and I'm probably like one fourth done with this. It's, I like, I like it. I still use it. I feel like it does give you a nice glow. I don't know if it actually prolongs the wear of your makeup. Um, I know what else I, oh, I talked about some cover FX drops that I got. The new ones that had launched back, back then when I did that video. I had to return. Those are the only ones I didn't like out of the whole thing. All the stuff that I got. I did not, I did not like those, um, drops. I just didn't like the way they looked on my face. They kind of just uh, stayed in one area. I wasn't able to blend them out. I don't know. I just it's which is odd because all the other ones that I have I really like. Um, but yeah. Anyways, let's move on. I'm gonna go ahead and prime and actually use this Makeup Forever Step One. So I'm just gonna put this all here. Uh, I really want some Starbucks. Oh my god, okay, so I doubt, I mean, my husband sees my videos, right, but, like, I don't think he really fully watches them. I think they're too girly for them, him, but I'm trying to convince, I'm, like, lowering my voice because he's, obviously, he can probably hear me if I talk too loud. I'm trying to convince him to give us our master closet. Is that, is that messed up? I mean, I have a, I have a closet in this room that I told him he could have. I'll organize all of his clothes and his shoes in this closet, but I have so much clothes that I feel like it just makes more sense for me to... To take over that one closet, right? Instead of having half of my stuff over there and half of my stuff in here. 
but I just can't convince him. So if anybody has any tips or ideas of how I could convince him to give me that master closet, let me know. So for foundation, I'm going to go ahead and use this Hourglass. What is this? Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation? This is in the shade Golden. Um, it's so weird because I bought this foundation a while ago. And I really liked it. I was in love with it. But it's so freaking expensive that I was like, okay, I can only use this like sometimes because... You know, your girl ain't trying to spend too much. But then I recently, and then I forgot about it. And then I recently, like, rediscovered it in my drawer. And so I was like, I need to use this. You know, I feel like a lot of the times, um, you really don't need this much. Um, a lot of the times we want to save, like, certain things because, like, for this right moment or wear a certain outfit. I mean, because I'm like that, I know for sure. I'm just going to go ahead and use this Morphe M439 brush and I'm going to spray some of my, where's my Fix Plus? Over here. Um, I always like to spray like my brushes when I do a stick foundation. I feel like it just blends easier. Anyway, I feel like a lot of times we save like a certain outfit for a certain like occasion and then it's like, sometimes I think about that and I'm like, because I do that all the time. And then I'm like, what if I were to die tomorrow and what if I'm like all that crap that I was trying to save to use because you know of another day or like because it was too expensive or they're just so cute that you don't want to use them and then I'm like damn like that's a whole bunch of new crap that you just leave behind like I don't know sometimes I try to put myself on that mind status so that like I use my crap because there's really no reason why you should buy something and then just leave it in your closet for months at a time um, because you don't know if you're going to be here tomorrow. Right? So, anyway, I really like this foundation and I've been using it like non-stop now. Now I'm like, oh, I'm using it every day because I like it and why not? So, that's pretty much it. Sometimes when I want to be like super like flawless, um, I just kind of go back in with my foundation with my foundation with my beauty blender and kind of just press that into the skin um so it kind of has like more of a natural finish and then i hate this hair right here like nothing i do i mean unless i put a sh you know what it does work when i put like a little bit of brow gel in there but it's my hair is just so frizzy it's ridiculous um anyway i'm just trying to blend this in and then i'm gonna go with concealer which you already know is going to be my shape tape. Usually like any like eyeliner, mascara, or lashes, I always do at the very end of my makeup routine. I don't know why. I don't know why. I feel like once you put lashes on, it's kind of like, okay, I'm ready to go out the door because lashes can be uncomfortable. Even though, I mean, if you put them on right, they're fine. But there's just something about having lashes on that it's like, oh, okay, I feel glam. I need to get out this door. And I probably have some time before I have to leave, so I'm not going to put lashes on and on until the end of this video. Um, but yeah, anyway, moving on. I'm just going to go ahead and use my Shape Tip Concealer again. You already know. Next, I'm going to go to this thing again. What is your favorite? Oh, perfume, I already did that. What is your favorite holiday? It has to be Christmas. Absolutely. Christmas is just like time for your family to spend time. Like the whole like, you know, Thanksgiving um christmas new year i love it like if i didn't have to work for like a whole freaking month because of the holidays i would probably be like the most happiest person in the world because i hate being at work during like that time even if it's not i mean usually the actual holiday i work in a, in a clinic so we're closed on actual like the actual holiday but i don't want to work all like month the whole month of december i do not want to be at work i want to be at home, like drinking hot chocolate, eating pozole, I want to be watching Home Alone, I want to be like getting Christmas gifts, wrapping, putting on my tree, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. That is hands down my favorite holiday, no matter what. Let's see, what's the next question? I actually might be able to answer all these questions because I'm really just focusing on these questions and not what I'm, these products. I'm trying to think of what products I got in my last video so I can kind of just say if I liked them or not. The Stila 
shadows, the Stila glitter shadows that I got are bomb. You need those if you can get them, put, get them in your life. Like you just absolutely have to have them. Um, what else? The RCMA powder I do like. I think it's worth it. It's not even like that much. So, and I use it. I use it when I want to bake. Um, what else? Someone's coming in my room. I already know it. I already know it. Maybe not. Um, what else? My husband's listening to music outside of my room, so if I can hear that, just ignore it. What else? Um, on a scale 1 to 10, rate your childhood. Huh. You know what? I have to admit, and I'm not like trying to be sad or anything, but I think that I don't. There's nothing in my childhood that stands out to me. I mean, besides the fact that I had to pay bills and bills. Yeah, I had to pay bills and I didn't have to fucking work. Ugh, I would say maybe like a four. I have like this little blemish right here that it's kind of like protruding through. I'm gonna add a little bit more concealer. Next, do you speak any different languages? Um, I speak Spanish. So I'm gonna go ahead and bronze real quick. Um, I love this stick. I think that honestly like from beginners to like pros like this is such a good contour stick i'm gonna go ahead and use this brush right here um just to blend out this cream contour do you have any siblings i do i have two i have an older i'm actually the baby and i feel weird because i can't really talk but um i have a older brother and older sister i'm the baby and yeah um what else what is your favorite store i guess if we're talking about any store i'd probably have to say sephora anyway i'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out really quickly and then set it i'm gonna go ahead and set it with this uh kent von d locket found uh, locket foundation locket powder this is actually something that i bought in my last haul and i actually really like it i only use it to set just a little bit here under my under eyes um who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Oh my god. Okay, you guys. The first person I ever saw on YouTube and I got addicted, like no lie, is Nicole Guerrero. I like her personality and... Oh, I'm using this Jouer Citrine Highlighter. Jouer Citrine Highlighter. I actually really like the little mirrors that come with this because they're actually really good mirrors, but it's tiny AF. Anyways, um, yeah, so she was one of the first, she was the first YouTuber makeup guru that I saw, and she's still one of my favorite ones. Um, some of my other ones, um, would have to be Jaclyn Hill, obviously, because you saw how that, her palette. I have her Champagne Pop, um, collab she did with Becca, which I also thought were bomb. Uh, what is your favorite movie? Oh my god, can anybody guess what my favorite movie is? Um... My favorite movie, all-time favorite movie, is Bridesmaids. That movie I could watch over, I mean I have watched over and over and over and over and over again, you guys. I love Bridesmaids, absolutely. It's just, it's so funny. I'm gonna go ahead and take an M4321 brush, like a little pencil brush, to run it under my lash line and do that. Um, and then let me see what the next question is on this questionnaire. It is, what are some of your favorite TV shows? Currently, me and my husband are watching Game of Thrones. We're barely on season two. I know we're like four or five years behind. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take some of these. Well, I already took them out. Ow. But I'm gonna go ahead and take some of these Coco uh, lashes, and this is in Coco. This is kind of what it looks like. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and use the House of Lashes glue. This glue is is really good, but man, this stay, this stuff will stay on your eyes for days if you don't take this shit off. But anyway, I'm just doing that. Let's see what the next question is. Um, PC or Mac? Mac, actually, I just kind of switched over. What phone do you have? Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge? Yeah. Um, I'm really thinking about switching over to iPhone, especially because now I have my computer my mac and i actually really like it so now i'm like maybe i'm really like the iphone but i've had android for ye like e forever like ever since i've had a phone it's always been android and i love them so i'm kind of finally thinking about switching over to iphone but we'll see i have a couple of months before i have to really decide but anyway 
how tall are you? I am 5'6". And last question, do you have any pets? Yes. So yeah, I have two pets and their names are Puma and Canelo. Um, Canelo, we've had him a little bit over half a year and he is pretty much just chow. I think his dad was like half chow and German Shepherd, but the mom is full chow. Um, and then our little one, Puma, he, his dad, which actually his parents are my sister's dogs. Um, and so his dad is Yorkie and Maltese, I think. And the mom is something, she's mixed with Chihuahua. We just, I don't know what else. Honestly, I don't remember or I don't know if my sister remembers. Um, but yeah, I have pictures of them on my Instagram. So I'll go ahead and leave my Instagram name somewhere here if you guys want to follow me. And then my Snapchat name as well. I think that's it. You got that in it? I'm just putting some eyebrow gel. This stuff will seriously like last on your eyebrows all freaking day. And I think all I have to do now is set my makeup. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this cover effects because I'm all about that glow. All right, this is the finished look. I know this video is probably really long, so I'll have to edit it for sure. Um, but if you guys like this video, please subscribe. Please leave any comments of videos or anything you guys want to see or any questions of any of the stuff that I used or, um, yeah, just anything. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, my God, I totally missed a freaking question. What would you or have you named your children? What the hell? I hope that I missed that.